Hey guys, and welcome back to Command and Conquer. When we last left off, we of course finished uh, our Global Defense Initiative or GDI missions. Now it's Nod's turn, or Nod's time to shine, if you will. I'm not as familiar with this campaign. Uh, I have played it extensively when I was younger. Uh, not so much as an adult, I usually just... Um, and the cat's doing something stupid. Uh, I usually just um, fire this game up, have a quick go on GDI, ba blast for a few missions, blah, 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 blah. But this time, we're actually going to go for a full playthrough, obviously. So, without any further ado, let's go... Oh, we'll go start new game. And we're going to go for Brotherhood of Nod. And these guys have my favourite colour scheme in the world. Red and black, baby. Ooh, I do like their colour scheme. Let's go. Brotherhood of Nod selected. So, you're the new addition to the Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm Seth. Just Seth. From God to Cain to Seth. I am his right hand, and I have a task for you. This is Nakumba and he is causing the Brotherhood much grief. I see. His views do not coincide with ours, and that makes him dangerous. Silence him. So, our first mission as the Brotherhood of Nod is a execution order. Sounds about right. Very easy, basic mission to start off with. Uh, as, well, I guess it's pretty obvious, as it would be. Uh, we are going to delete all these, though because there is so many of them. We don't need all these. Now, you might actually recognize that guy, the, the, some of you out there that have seen my GDI playthrough. In the GDI um, campaign, which is actually the canonical campaign, uh, GDI obviously wins, uh, you will notice that Seth there, is actually at the end of the game. He is the officer that shoots the other uh, officer who tries to run away uh, when the Temple of Nod is falling. So, as you will see, that is a very different timeline to what we're about to uh, to uh, enjoy now. Anyway, let's get on with it. So, Nod units are different. Nod units are much cheaper. They're generally faster than their GDI counterparts. Uh, apart from minigunners, minigunners are exactly the same. But these Nod buggies are basically our version of uh, Hummers, but they are inferior. They are faster, I think, slightly faster, but they don't have as much armor. Which is true for pretty much all of Nod's units. And this is weak source, we need... There we go. Because this mission you can do with your eyes shut. Come on boys, let's go assassinate some fools. Do this as quick as we can. Uh, oh, hell. Hello. Regroup. Damn, they're like rats. Nice. Ah, oh, we lost an odd buggy already. It matters not. We have more than enough dudes to do the damage here. Again, like the first GDI mission, it's a mission that you can't really fail. Really, guys? Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's aggro these out one at a time, because why not? Yeah, you can say that. This is a very unstable uh, universe, to be honest. And it only gets worse. As uh, Andrew. Or D. Sapper. Oh, hello. There we go. Has mentioned in the... It's commented in the last video. Um, this game was supposed to go in a very different dark... Uh, direction. If you, oh hello, that's not good. If you actually look at uh, Tiberian Sun, which we'll get to, that is probably my favourite uh, game when it comes to just the lore and the overall feel. That game was so dark and desolate, and they significantly lightened the mood uh, in the later games. There's no point using the buggy. The buggy's Winchester. Get him out of there. Right. And being Nod as well, we can burn the village down. Because we're terrorists. Let's enjoy some terrorism. Fuck you. 
and your washing line. I'm not sure why civilians are armed, because they are so ineffective. They are literally pointless in this game. Damn, we're just wasting these guys. Like Resident Evil Dead Aim, or whatever it was called. Uh, on the Wii. Where Jack Krauser and his crack team of uh, guys murder that whole village. Giving me that vibe right about now. There we go. I believe Leon was there as well. Was it Leon? I can't remember. Not very familiar with that game actually. I don't think I ever completed it. I did LP it at one point. But. Never actually finished it because it was bloody hard. And I was playing it with uh, my ex at the time. And. Yeah, we're getting our ass kicked. Now, our little buddy is over here waiting his death. Go with God, my son. Different end theme. And of course, we have different um, statistic bars as well. A little bit more gruesome. There we go. Job done. Now notice that we're actually in uh, a completely different hemisphere of the world. GDI doesn't have a lot of control here, but then neither does not. So we've got two choices here. It doesn't really matter which one we pick. We go into Egypt either way. And also the blurb here is different as well. So, point of conflict tells us there. Military strength, formidable. I don't know why it says things like that. Um, and military resistance is 82%. I wish there was a little bit more to that. Uh, expendability, 95%. So, in other words, we give no shits to this place. Uh, government corruptibility is 18%. I always find these little bits of information interesting. Like, I wish it, if it was like a high military resistant area, it would be nice if there was the local government military around as like a third faction, um, an NPC faction that you might have had to fight and engage with, like a little uh, third uh, faction base or something. Obviously, it doesn't make sense with GDI because GDI are peacekeepers, much like the UN. <laughs> well, that's up for debate, but there we go. Let's go see what Seth says. Back so soon. Hmm. Let's see how you do with something important. Oh, I see. Is that how it is? For too many years, GDI forces have maintained a stranglehold on Egypt. It's fallen upon us to liberate these citizens, crying out for a better way of life. Right. Kane wants to establish a base here to eliminate the smothering presence of GDI. <laughs> it's too risky to move our heavy forces in, so we want you to sneak in with a few expendable troops and set up a forward attack post. Uh, by the way, there's more than enough Tiberium for you to harvest. That should easily pay your expenses. If you're detected, you fail. If you fail, you die. Again, that doesn't really make any sense, because we are going to get detected. And, like, I don't know, that, that always stuck me as strange. First time I read that, I was like, holy shit, this is going to be some kind of stealth mission, but no. It literally means nothing. So let's get our base going. We've got three Nod Buggies. Lovely. I think their firepower is somewhere around the same. Now also, this mod has all the extra music in it as well. And some of the, uh, some of the bonus tunes that you get are fantastic. Can't remember where the tip field is here. It's not going to be that far away. There we go. Let's get a hand of nod. The hand of nod is um, their version of the barracks. Looks really cool, actually. I think. There we go. Uh, damn, guys, you just literally walked into into hell. Holy shit! Right, we can only get minigunners and engineers, but that's fine. You sneaky sons of bitches! Going around the outside. Well, at least. They were. What are you doing? These soldiers need more training. Holy shit. Building. And now we need to wait for some more tib. Come on. Do your job, bro. Yes, sir. Affirmative. 
Let's move our scouts out. Let's have a little look around the map. What have we got? Well, that's not a very big tip field. And there's also no point in really in having two harvesters here, but fuck it, why not? Better get some silos. Because otherwise we're going to have silos needed. Silos needed. Silos needed. Okay, cool. Let's have a little explore. See what we're working with. Got some more grunts. Kill them! Really? Alright, well, okay. Either or. Uh, GD uh, not actually have much better defenses as well. well where's the harvester already? I did look up to see if this game had any shortcuts for the keyboard, like uh, the later games do, but it doesn't. Which actually ages it quite well. Uh, quite a lot, I should say. Ages it quite well. Ages it very poorly, actually. Unit. Shouldn't need Building. too many men to Unit. do this. Wow, Unit. their men are literally Ready. pouring Building. out of their base. Unit. Ready. But that's fine. Unit. Ready. Building. We're going to waste Unit. their harvester Ready. when it comes Building. out next. Unit. Ready. Go Ready. kick the hornet's Building. nest. Unit. To comply. Here we go. Down. Right, return Unit. to base. Unit. Oh shit, we've really kicked the hornet's nest this time. Right, destroy everything, guys. Burn them all. Uh, please don't shoot my harvester. I need that. All right, nice. Luckily, machine guns are very ineffective against our harvester. Not totally ineffective, but ineffective enough. They're actually very hard to see the enemies here as well. Actually, you know what? Let's just go full hand. It's taken way too long. Construction complete. Waiting orders. Yes, sir. All right, destroy yes, that. You got it. You got Kill it. it. Now, like the other early missions, their harvesters start off uh, almost dead. I think they start with half health, which is weird. But we're not gonna we're not gonna complain. Whoa, that was painful. Construction complete. We need another power plant. Primary building there selected. we go. Beautiful. Construction complete. Now we've kind of building. been extremely Unit. slow here. Building. Unable to comply. You don't need to build building all this progress. stuff, but I building. just enjoy Unit. doing it that way. Unable to comply. Building in progress. Let's just build up a Unable huge force. We can probably go in Unit. from both Ready. sides because you can come into the base that in way. Progress. And you can come in from that side as well, building. so we might Unable as well to pincer comply. the fuckers. Building. Because why not? Building. Unable to comply. Building in progress. Unable to comply. Building in progress. Alright, there's quite a lot Unable of men there. Comply. You guys go perch your asses there. Building. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. Yeah, there's no Unable way these guys are gonna repel building this attack. Unable to comply. Building in progress. You got it. Right, good enough. I'm gonna lose that buggy. Let's just scout. Moving out. Ooh. As delicious as an unguarded penguin nest. Mm -mm. Really? Guys, seriously? Like, defend yourselves. It is okay to defend yourself, guys. I'm just saying. That works. Right, and that's a wrap. Easy as that. Kind of an interesting um, victory video, this. We win, yet we still see GDI destroying a base. With their predator vision. Always wanted a pair of uh, goggles like that as a kid. I was like, man, they're so cool. I'm not sure if that was like an error, that um, cutscene. Like that was supposed to be for a GDI mission, but the shit happens. I don't know. That KD is perfectly acceptable. Nice. Obviously the missions will get harder. So where are we heading next, Seth? 
Lay it on us. Uh, there's also less missions for the Nod campaign. I think with GDI there was 15. With Nod, there's 12 or 13, I think. Right. Sudan. Expendability, 50%. So this is a more important mission. Military strength is respectable. And the resistance has dropped, though. Government corruptibility is 52%. Holy shit. Kane is going to be pleased to hear how skillfully you've handled yourself. And a word from me to Kane goes a long way in the Brotherhood. If you say so. These walls imprison many friends and members of the Brotherhood. Free them regardless of cost. Overwhelm the prison, but leave it standing. Yeah, we need to get an engineer in there, I believe. Ah, uh, attack bikes. Attack bikes are so cool. And I don't know why it shows a uh, M1 there. Maybe it's a captured M1. Oh, I love that. So cool. Always wanted to have a go on one of those bikes as well. Alright, let's get set up, boys. Oh, my cat's sneezing her head off. We've got some engineers. Let's protect our engineers. New construction building. Now, the attack bike is an extremely fast unit. But they're not really very good. They're very weak. But they make great scouts, and they are fairly good at destroying infantry. Uh, not infantry, uh, enemy vehicles. But the trouble with them is they are so weak. Kind of renders them uh, a little bit pointless, apart from in large numbers. Please do not attack my harvester, you fucking morons. I need those harvesters. Wow. That's RCB. Okay, we're fucked. Yeah, I don't think so, pal. Yeah, you can see... Oh, my cat's got another hairball. I don't think Nod Buggies are very good against infantry anyway. Wow. I don't know, they might be effective against infantry, I'm not sure. We may have to experiment. Get our engineers down. Let's get another power plant. Not bad against infantry, I suppose. Not bad. Building. Unit ready. Get another hand and nod. Building. And another one. We have full complete. production potential right here. Alright, start pumping these Unit guys out. Ready. We might as well get Unit another refinery ready. as well. Unit Can't believe we lost so many men actually. Come on guys, bring that tip in. Building. Could probably get some rocket Building. troops as well. Building. Might need the anti-armor capability. Choose these guys to explore. Now I believe their base is up here in the corner. I don't think there's much down here. I get the feeling actually. There's something sticking in my mind. Oh, hello. Fight for your lives, men! Whoa. Alright, pull back. That's fine. Construction complete. Cool, that'll do. It's just building. Produce some troops. Right, you, buddy, go have a look what's up here. I have, I think there's more Tiberium up here. I'm not sure though. Oh, hello. Oh dear. <laughs> He's scratched. Luckily, we, we're not, so we don't really care about our soldiers. Not like GDI. Um, Reporting. let's have a look Moving what out. is actually up there. Building. Unit. You'll Ready. see how Building. I don't really, I'm not that familiar yes, sir. Right away, sir. with uh, GDR, uh, Nod's campaign. 
Really, Cloud? Really? Building unit. Let's get ready. some uh, anti armor unit. as well. Ready. Unit ready. Unit ready. Building. We'll put those suckers up here. Moving out. Because they are going to come at us with some ready. lightly ready. armored vehicles. Right away, sir. Right away, sir. Yep, so Roger. we've got more tip up here. Are oh, you fucking arsehole? Honestly. Moving out. Not a problem. Okay, we've got plenty of tip up yes, here. Yes, sir. This is nice. Building. Unit. Yeah, unfortunately, um, unfortunately, their men, uh, Grenadiers, ah, this is going to be a problem, are way better than what we get. Like, rocket troops are okay, but they're very limited in their application, especially on the early missions. But that's okay. I mean, they're kind of good against harvesters and whatnot. But we do get flame troops eventually, which, eh, they're alright, I suppose. I don't know if they're as good as... Why didn't you attack me? I don't know if they're as good as uh, Grenadiers. They're hyper-lethal against vehicle uh, infantry and vehicles. The only problem with them is they kind of destroy themselves. A little bit too easily, for my liking. There's GDI Harvester, we really don't want to fuck with that just yet. Wow, we just got wipes again. We're just going to build up shit tons of minigunners. I mean, they're only 100 each, so... We've actually got quite a few guys here. We'll throw a couple of rocket men in. Haha, -ha, nice squish. Excuse me, can you stop throwing grenades at my harvester? Please. Well, fuck you then, buddy. Oh, nice. Nice work, that driver. Really? Look, can you kill that guy, please? Shit. Well, that's awkward. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. Can you uh, do something comply. about that, please? Unable to comply. Nice. Well, that actually worked. Whoa. Unit ready. Holy shit. Grenadiers do not fuck around. Grenadiers really don't fuck around, do they? Oh, dude. Look at all that. Okay, well, <laughs> I like it when the problem takes care of itself. Primary building selected. Kill him. Building unit ready. Building unit Come on, man. Ready. Cloud, you're on my keyboard. Yes. We've spoke about this many unit times. Out. Okay, that'll work. Building unit ready. Building Cloud, we've building spoken unit about this. Ready. Are you working for GDI? Is that your intention right now? Are you trying to confuse and disorientate me? Is that your plan? Yeah. Building. Unit ready. Let's build up unit a few ready. more men. Unit ready. Unable to comply. Uh, yeah. Building. Morning. Awaiting orders. Yes, sir. Right Should away, be sir. enough to get the ball rolling. Ready and waiting. Yes, sir. Once we get yes, flame for our men, things yes, will change. Ah, oh, come on. Waiting orders. Reporting. Moving out. Nice. Actually. Uh, I want to get both of them up there harvesting building, that, but there is too stupid. Nah, that should be enough. Yes, sir. If not to take them out, we will do a lot of damage. Go for it, men, or die trying. Now, I think actually, um, the cloud things do get significantly harder with Nod as well due to the fact that our units are nowhere near as capable. I think they're also out of money which is good. So this is where we're at. Destroy that. Get them in. Yeah. I suppose we could take this over. Well, we could have. Not now, baby. Right, take that out. Nice. 
Now they're ripe for the taking. Your asses are ours, guys. Oh, shit. That's not good. Yeah, Nod's uh, defences are not great against uh, infantry. In fact, they suck against infantry big time. However, they do get the Obelisk of Light eventually, which is just ridiculous. Such a cool defensive structure. I would like to say it's almost overpowered. But can you really have overpowered defences, honestly? I don't think so. And it does make up for um, not being so weak as well. So there's that. GD mission accomplished. GD mission com accomplished. Holy shit. Right, chase them down, man. Let there be no survivors. That is our primary armor unit. Uh, we're on 25 minutes, 26 minutes. Should we go for the next mission? Yeah, we could do. We could do. Hmm. Nah, we better not. We better not go for the next mission. We'll load it up. We're starting to take over a nice chunk of Africa. Okay. So, another dual mission. Uh, again, I don't really know the differences. So, we're just going to go deeper into Chad. We're going deeper into Chad. Shit, better be careful where I say that. Uh, government corruptibility, 85%. Wow. Expendability, 80%. So it's not really a very important place. The military strength, laughable. And the resistance is only 35%. So, what is our brief? Brotherhood. GDI escalating now civil war. Nod factions require reinforcement. Nod command directive. I like this is cool. Aid Nod supporters defense against GDI incursion. Eliminate GDI presence in the region. We can do that. Ah, oh, we're getting this one. I'm pretty sure we had this on the GDI mission as well. This would have made more sense in the last mission, to be fair. <laughs> that creaky floorboard sound effect and uh, running up those stairs always makes you think of Resident Evil. Now, if our man there hadn't hesitated, we could have saved him. Right, guys. Anyway, I am going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. When we return, um, let's go for Nod uh, LP. LP Uno. Uh, when we return, we'll continue this mission and uh, see if we can make Seth proud of us. Uh, I'm sure he's not going to get totally jealous of us and our skill, but that remains to be seen. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.